Texas. Oh, my baby. Well, I feel like Midnight has two mommies. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, you can fight for us. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I want that to be a book. But um, Midnight is based on the books by Charlene Harris, a book trilogy, and it's about a small town in rural Texas that happens to be where supernatural people of all types have come together to create this sort of community of family. These are characters that have not always been accepted in the outside world, who are running from secrets, running from painful pasts, running from awful families, both human and supernatural, and they found a home in it, a place where they're accepted, a place where they belong despite their differences, and things come into their lives to threaten their lives. And so it's about home and family and community and crazy supernatural obstacles and creatures, and I describe it as everything I love in a blender, but um, that's my night. Uh -huh. My family is from a one stop light town. Very creepy. Don't want to talk to there at night. Um, that, not about that life. Um, so, really excited about you all bringing this project to life. Um, so, I just want to know what aspects of the production uh, did you all incorporate to kind of have that small town, get that small town feel to the stuff? Well, you know, um, we. I don't know if, you think, if anyone came to Albuquerque, uh, Michelle, but, you know, one of the most exciting things about the show was recreating, creating that entire town on the backlot, yeah. really from scratch. It was modeled after a town um, in Las Vegas, New Mexico, where we actually shot the pilot. Um, and seeing the town in that one street um, kind of come to life was one of the biggest thrills. Yo, I completely. Think, um, we we made a town. <laughs> Ever in my life. Um, and then also, I would say, um, you know, casting this show the way we feel so fortunate to have put this cast together. It was a hard and long project. It's a big cast. Yes. And it's a really very specific character. Um, but we feel really fortunate that when we kind of step back and look at our entire family of Midnighters, they're electric together. Yeah. They're dynamic. They feel they're, like a community. They really love each other. So we felt like the best. So what's the underlying message for the series that you would want to convey to, to our readers? Yeah. I mean, for me, the story boils down to this moment in the third book where Fiji stands at the end of Witchlight Road, looks at the community and says, Oh my God, there's room for everyone here. And why can't we live in places like this where we all get along and we're together? And for me, there's something so beautiful about a story where all these diverse people have come together to have a community. They don't erase each other's differences, but they actually celebrate those differences and love those differences, and it makes them stronger as a collective. And so for me, that became this sort of metaphor that all the wild, crazy, supernatural villains that we have coming in, what I love is that moment where all the Midnighters come together. And I feel like that's kind of aspirational for me. I mean, like in this historical moment, that is aspirational to see in America where there's this group of people who are so different who have each other's back. It kind of feels incredibly relevant. Yeah. And hopeful. And hopeful. And ho it can be it can happen. If a were tiger and a vampire can live together. <laughs> Every yeah. single, they all have it. How do you make yourself stand out? I mean, I think Midnight is a world like no other. It's peculiar. It's funny. It's weird. It's unexpected. These creatures don't follow the same rules that we're familiar to. And I think that if people are willing to open their imagination and look, they'll find something that's very, like, original and a little bit of a jam in the middle of, like, West Texas. <laughs> The show also is hopefully romantic, and that was really one of the key ingredients of the characters' relationships in the books, but also how Monica really developed those relationships throughout the course of our first ten episodes. Um, it's a place that it's a show that I think you want to you want to follow up with and over the course of the ten episodes. I think the audience will follow up with these characters. So 
which of the supernatural creatures do you want to be? <laughs> um, Fiji. <laughs> well, I feel like other Fiji has some like she's worked in her magic. She considers it a science. It's a craft, and she works to control it. Manfred feels a little too vulnerable to his powers for me. <laughs> and I really don't want to live forever, so I'm kind of like oh, the vampire thing is not for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like I like an ending. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be Joe Strong, the angel. Ah. Just because of his fabulous hair. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be Jason. <laughs> Like this was something that you all want to come together to create. That you said this is the story that you want to bring to life. What drew you to this particular story? I think we both had a really similar reaction the first time we read the books. Um, I think like halfway into the first book, we were like, "Oh my god!" I fell in love with these characters that, despite the fact that they're supernatural, actually have three-dimensional human qualities, yeah. emotional connections with each other. That was what made me fall in love with Lansing from the beginning. Completely. And I mean, and I also spent a lot of time in a small town in southern Spain, but that does look like Texas. <laughs> um, they used to shoot all the westerns there. But it's like a single stop, like when someone drove up, everyone would peek out their window, like, who is this stranger? I don't know you. What do you do? And there's an accept, like, there's something funny about small towns where you accept each other's weirdness because you know each other well. <laughs> so, I mean, I love the small town. And my mother in law, who passed away two years, was a psychic. And so when I read Manfred, the first two, like, I read two chapters, I'm like, I think I'm getting a sign that I should do this. <laughs> um, so for me, there's a little personal draw for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.